Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I am going to try 10 different note taking apps in my Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. So guys, let's start. The first app that I am going to try is Note Shelf. So I open this app. The best thing about Note Shelf is it is a pre-installed app in this tablet. So in note shelf you can create different folders okay and in each folder you can create different notebooks okay so for example if i want to create a new notebook i will just select this plus sign and then select here quick create okay so a new notebook will open in front of me okay so you can see and then what I will do, I will try different tools. The first tool is the pen tool. So you can see over here, there are different pen options available. So for example, I select this pen and then there are different thickness. So for example, I select this thickness, different colors option available. I select blue. Okay. And then I start writing. Okay. So you can see over here, it is writing perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, with my S Pen it is pretty smooth okay so you can see over here and then the next thing that I want to mention here is the palm rejection so when I put my hand on this tablet okay so over here so I try to move my palm and there is no marks over here okay so you can see it is uh, completely clean so this is really amazing because whenever we have to write on uh, our uh, note taking apps okay we have to rest our hand on the screen so if there is a mark over here then it is really annoying and it is really disturbing for students or for professionals so in this app it is completely fine there is no marks I put my hands and I move my palm uh, on the screen okay so you can see over here it is completely clear the next tool is the highlighter tool so in highlighter we have two different highlighter options available different thickness option available so for example I select this one and then this highlighter okay so you can see the highlighter is working perfectly fine and then we have the eraser tool okay so you can see eraser tool also working perfectly fine uh, the next thing i want to mention here is you can cloud backup your notes okay so if i go back okay and i go to settings okay so you can see cloud and backup option available so if i select there are different cloud options available so you can use the dropbox google drive OneDrive. Evernote uh, web dev so different uh, cloud backup option available uh, the other thing is you can also uh, annotate a PDF file okay so all you have to do is select this plus sign import document option just select it once you select it you will see there are different PDF options. so for example I select this uh, PDF okay so you can see the PDF is over here and now if you want to annotate it you can annotate okay so you can see over here uh, you can write on it okay so you can see you can write on it if you want to use the highlighter okay so you can use the highlighter uh, if you want to use the eraser so you can do the PDF annotation as well the next app that I'm going to try is Microsoft OneNote so guys the amazing thing about Microsoft OneNote is you can organize your notes into a notebook so for example I create different notebooks according to my semester and in each notebook you can organize into sections okay according to your subjects for example I create physiology anatomy cell biology and then in each uh, section you can create different pages you can create different notes so you can see over here there, there is a list of different notes available now uh, I will try different uh, tools so I open a new page and the first tool uh, that I'm going to try is pen tool so there are different pen options so you can see over here different color you can change the thickness so now I start writing okay so you can see over here okay so guys here uh, you can see I have some issue so you can uh, see there is a mark over here when I place my hand on the screen okay so when I try to write here uh, the palm rejection is not 
perfectly fine uh, I will say that there is some issue when I try to write something over here it create a mark over here so you can see over here and then for example if I want to use the eraser option it is working perfectly fine okay and then if uh, I write something okay and then I want to use the highlighter okay so highlighter is also working perfectly fine there are different highlighters option available you can change the color of the highlighter so you can see over here so guys you can also use other uh, tools option as well so uh, if you go to the home tab and then if you want to uh, type anything so you can type you can write any text then we have different options available over here for the highlighter for the bold text changing font so all of them are working fine if you go to the insert tab uh, then we have the attachment options uh, then over here we have different options like to do list important questions so there are a lot of option and they are working perfectly fine guys you can also export your notes into a PDF uh, form you just have to go here these three dots and then you see this share page option just select it so it is giving you two options: share as PDF or plain text so whatever you want you can use uh, any of these options uh, so guys it is working perfectly fine uh, but the only issue is the palm rejection in uh, this app so let's move to the next app the next app that I'm going to try is Kilo Notes the best thing about this app is it is giving you a lot of interesting book cover options so you can see over here there are amazing book cover options you can select any of them okay so it is a really interactive note taking app so for example I select this book cover and the second thing is it is also giving you really interesting page template options so you can see over here we have dotted square rule grid daily planner uh, monthly planner cornell notes okay so a lot of uh, options available in the form of page templates so i select uh, this page template and then i start the confirm selection and then i start different tools over here so the first tool is the pen tool so i start writing okay so you can see over here i start writing okay uh, taking notes okay with my S Pen so I put my palm over here and you see there is no marks okay so I put my palm on the screen so no marks uh, on the page which is really amazing so the the palm rejection technology is working perfectly fine now let's move to the next tool uh, which is the highlighter tool it is also working fine then we have the eraser tool okay so it is also working perfectly fine over here uh, so this app is really amazing and then you can also export your notes into a PDF format so I would say everything is working perfectly fine the next app that I am going to try is bamboo paper uh, okay so guys it is a really simple note taking app so for example if I try to make a new note I just select this thinker option and then I open uh, the notes okay and then I start to write first there is a pen tool so you can select different thickness option from here okay and then we have different colors option you can select any color okay so I select this color and then I start writing okay so you can see over here okay and you can see I rest my hand on the screen okay and I also move my hand in the screen so there is no marks over here okay so it is really amazing it means the palm rejection technology is working perfectly fine even if I select this finger option so I can use my finger uh, as the pen and then again I rest my hands okay so you can see it is working perfectly fine okay so there is no marks over here but if I try to use my finger it will write over here okay so this is really amazing guys and uh, we use the eraser tool so eraser tool is also working perfectly fine you can see over here okay so this app is really amazing with the palm rejection so let's move to the uh, next app the next app is Zodo so guys it is a PDF annotating app you can also create a new PDF as well so if you select this plus sign select any PDF uh, from uh, your device so for example I select this PDF file 
I open it. So guys, this Zodo provide you all the PDF annotating tools. So for example, if I scroll down, okay, and I open uh, this page over here, okay, so you can see there are different uh, options available. So for example, like this is the underline option. So I select these lines so you can see it create underlining for me. And then we have the pen tool. There are different thickness option, okay. So for example, you select it, okay, and then if you want to write something, you can write over here. It is working perfectly fine. Uh, then we have the text tool, then we have the eraser tool. So all the tools are working perfectly fine uh, in this Zodo app as well. Let's move to the next app, which is the Samsung Notes. It's my favorite note taking app because it is a complete uh, note taking app. It provides you all the necessary tools okay so you can write something if you want to write okay so you can see over here uh, you can increase the thickness okay so you can see you can make your notes okay and in this app uh, the palm rejection is working perfectly fine so you can see i put my palm on the screen and then there is no marks over here so all the tools are really amazing okay and uh, for example eraser tool everything is working perfectly fine uh, in this app guys you can also annotate pdf uh, in samsung notes okay and then you also have the option to save your files in different format you can save your files in word PowerPoint, image or text. So all different options available in this Samsung Notes. The next app is Flexil. So guys, in Flexil, you have a lot of options. You can annotate PDF files. Okay, you can see over here, you can create new notes as well. So for example, I create a quick note from here. So you can see the page will open in front of me and then all the tools are available on top. So for example, I select this pen tool. There are different thickness options. So I select it then I select the color okay and then I start writing okay so you can see it is really smooth okay and then I rest my hand and try to uh, write something on the screen so you can see there is no marks over here so it means the palm rejection is working perfectly fine so guys it is a complete note taking app but some of the tools are locked because you have to pay for them some of the tools are free so you can see they are open so i can use them but if you want to use the other tools uh, you have to pay for it so it is an amazing app the next app that i am going to try is incredible so guys it is a really simple app okay so you can see there are different tools option available if i select this tool so you can see it gives me a lot of options so for example I select this pen option and I try to write something okay so you can see trying to write okay so guys I have some issue in writing okay so for example if I try to write fast so it is not uh, working uh, the way I want it and if I put my hands on the screen okay so you can see uh, there is no marks over here so palm rejection is working fine but if I try to write something okay so I have some issue it is not uh, writing in a smooth way okay if I use the other tools for example, I use the eraser tool. The eraser tool is working fine. Okay, so you can see. And then if I use the highlighter tool, so highlighter tool is also working uh, perfectly fine. In terms of palm detection, it is okay. But if I try to use my S Pen and try to write, there are some issues guys so let's move to the uh, next app uh, the next app is squid okay so i open the squid app here you can make uh, new notes you can import a pdf file you can also annotate a pdf file so i open a new note so there are different options i select this college rule okay so i select this pen option and i try to write something okay so so guys this is really smooth uh, it working perfectly fine and I rest my hand on the screen okay so you can see over here uh, so there is no marks over here so palm rejection is working perfectly fine over here as well so if I select it uh, there are eraser tool okay so I can increase okay so you can see the eraser tool is also fine the pen tool there are different thickness option 
okay there are different uh, pen tools available but uh, some of the tools you have to buy okay some of the tools are locked for example this shape tool uh, it is not available for free you have to buy it uh, but the rest of the tools are working fine palm rejection is also amazing the last app is concepts so guys concepts is like a drawing and note taking app okay so for example if i try to write something over here okay so everything is smooth okay and uh, then i put my hand i rest my hand over here on the screen okay and see there is no marks over here so palm rejection is working perfectly fine so in concepts we have a lot of amazing tool guys so you can see this is the eraser tool uh, and then we have like this tool okay so you can see there are different brushes options available soft pencil hard pencil marker wire okay so amazing tools available guys uh, if you select the points you can also change the point okay and then you can write here okay so you can see so it is really amazing everything is working uh, perfectly fine in uh, this app as well so guys please let me know which app you like the most uh, so some of the apps have issues uh, in terms of palm rejection in terms of uh, using uh, the pen tool okay but most of the apps are working perfectly fine uh, so this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoyed the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much